Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and here we are once again in modded Minecraft. One of the first things I want to do is get another machine. It's just your standard build, except for that, and fluid transposer. And I made a chunk loader, which is pretty simple. So, I'm going to put that right at the edge of a chunk boundary I live on. By pressing F9, I can bring up the chunk boundaries. So I want it right about here. And it can stay as a 9x9 nine nine at the moment. Just cover him back up. Turn those back off. Now I got quite a bit of cobalt and ardite. I reworked this system. There's a bunch of cyclic assemblers back here. So that's all good. Uh, cooking up dark iron. Ran the turtle through most of a thing. Not the whole way. Uh, mind. I took my pick and I basically followed him around a lot and looked for lapis. So I ended up with that. Got a ton of redstone. And then I've got a bunch of metals. I've upgraded this chest to a diamond chest. As you can see, I have pretty good count of diamonds. Not much copper because you don't get it down to the level where I was mining. But that's kind of irrelevant. One of the first things I want to do, though, is get the transposer set up. Blue on that side, very good. And I don't want an output at the moment. Yeah. So I put the uh, cell down here. And as you can see, I've added quite a few engines. Got two powered furnaces set up, or redstone furnaces as they're called now. And they're just cooking away, making charcoal. Got plenty of wood. So, one of the first things I want to do, I really should do something about this setup. Do I have any chests? No. Oops. But, I do want to make something from BiblioCraft. The tool rack. Uh, I suppose I will place this right here. And the reason for this is I can take things like these. And... I suppose I'll put this on there as well. Actually, no. Put the charge meter on there. Blunk. Oh, uh, I can't put the saw on there? That's disappointing. Well, then maybe I will put the shadow blade. Plunk. Plunk. Although, I'll take that. And I plan to put this on here this episode. So, first thing I want to do is I want to get prepared for this. Oh, not quite sure why I was looking at the sky there, but... Come over here. I need this. I uh, don't really need these. I want to try something at the moment, which is paper binding. Well, the binding I know for sure, but I want to know if adding on the rod as well, not you, will also provide me an additional uh, modify modifier onto it. Which, I find this to be unlikely, but it could happen. Where am I going? I lost track of my elevator for a second. So, take you out, put you in there. And we're going to need cobalt. I'm not going to make manalium, because cobalt has the fastest mining speed, and that's all I really care about at the moment. Alright, forgot I left this on. And go. Oops. And go. Yeah, I can actually open this chest. I had to separate them because this was pulling whole stacks, and then I had a slight issue. Uh, well, that melts. I had a slight issue of it actually put the same enchant on multiple books. I don't think it was meant to do that. But I picked up some of these. These are essence berry bushes from Tinker's Construct. Right-clicking on them harvests you some berries, and eating the berries... Gives you experience. So, I figured, why not? And I've just been eating them as I see them, putting them on there, and letting that run its course. Okay, how are we doing down here? Have you melted? Yes. Now, pickaxe head takes exactly one bar. As you can see, there's nothing in here, so. That is that. Uh, I may end up making a manalium handle or something, or. Maybe something else, who knows? That is not the tool builder. 
Now, five modifiers, but it has a durability of 240. That's not a good idea. Okay. Now, um, Manolium Handle has, as far as I know, one of the best modifiers for durability. Shouldn't really be a huge issue in the long run. I could probably get away with two modifiers. Uh, maybe I should. Eh, it's not that expensive to do this. Screw it. The reasoning behind why I'm doing this is that, uh, not the diamond. Well, first of all, I have a leadstone flux capacitor. I upgraded the one down here in the assembler to hardened, which is pretty simple. And the reasoning behind this is if I take the pickaxe and apply this, I get that. So it be able, it's able to power itself off of flux. But if I put this on here, the base durability of it can also be repaired. So this means that, see, as far as I know, it's 50 per uh, max, for the max enchanting level. Uh, what am I doing? 36. And with that said, go. I don't think durability, no, not you. Durability is going to be a huge issue because I'm going to be using flux to keep it powered. But I... Oh. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Right, I took 100 and it takes redstone to actually send it over the limit. Because it won't move into the next one. So you have to force it. I think I might actually be able to use blocks now, but it's kind of pointless. So, this. Now, I have one modifier remaining after I finish these. As you can see, 100 out of 100, mining speed 19. Durability is 240, but it can hold redstone flux. Uh, sorry, buddy, we don't need you. So, I don't want to use all of it. Which is why I'm... Oh. I think I'm just going to leave a stack in there. I'll put 256 on it for the moment. Call that good enough, I think. And... Done on those. So, with any luck, this should get us to Fortune 2, I hope. There's Fortune 1. I'm not sure what the actual thresholds are, so this might not actually get us there. Uh, since it's only fortune one. Pity. I'm going to need to get more lapis. Oh well. So we'll just throw this bad boy in here. Shouldn't take too long to fill up. It holds 400,000 redstone flux. And I'm not sure how much it uses per charge. So we'll just come back to him. I Basically, I expect the Flux to do a lot of the heavy lifting, and then when the Flux runs out, then I end up in the situation. Plus, once I get Machine Muse's modular power suits going, it should keep the tool powered, no problem. So I'll end up draining power from my suit, which would basically make the pick infinite in the end, in theory. This is going to take a while. Go have a look over here. Not really draining. So, that order of business out of the way. I suppose we're getting close to nighttime in Minecraft. Got a good bit of a city in two, which is very good, very helpful. Give me this book. Uh, we're gonna need. I'll just take nine. Put these in here. Make an enchanting table. This is a horrible, horrible idea. And this should never be done. Well. That's 
kind of a lie. But... This is not going to turn out well for me. Now, if I shift-click on this, the only problem is I need an animal, now that I think about it. So... Do I have any wheat? Oh, good. Oh, creeper. Creeper. Hey, you. Come here. Come on. Come on. That was rude. I'll tell you right now. Hey. Hey, you. Sheep. Sheep. Any sheep. Any sheep. I only need one sheep. Come on. Come on. Now I have to do the sacrifice at midnight. Which means that I have to hope he doesn't wander too far off. Now I'll know when it's midnight is the sigil will start glowing. Ah. I have a concern that my sword is going to break. Also, I'm wearing an entire set of Invar armor. Okay. I think I'm going to make an Invar sword. Don't come knocking on my door yet. It's a bit better than iron in the long run. I think the sword actually has the same attack damage, but... Durability is helpful, especially in situations like this. Is it midnight yet? No. But I don't need to look up. I can look at the sigil. Where'd the sheep go? Sheep. Oh jeez, that is a lot of zombies. Come on. But this is the problem I have with 1.6. This is my biggest problem with 1.6. Is that it literally just spams you with zombies. It's not even real difficulty. It's just spam you with zombies. It's just annoying. That's it. Start glowing already. I wish to get this out of the way. Come on. Should be within your uh, threshold soon. Okay. Make the sacrifice. Oh. Or break the circle. Ah! Uh, I got a division signal. Sigil. However, it is time to run away. Because that dirt that just spawned summons monsters. Now you be wondering why I did that so close to my house. That's because when the sun comes, it'll go away. It'll destroy it. However, in the meantime, I can now use the division signal sigil for many things. That's not what I was looking for. You make unstable ingots, and then you can use unstable ingots, which have a 10 second duration for exploding. You can make all kinds of stuff, including the portal to the deep dark, which I don't have the cobblestone for, I don't think. Uh, swords, and other tools and stuff. I plan to basically mostly use it for Portal to the Deep Dark. Because that is a mining area. So I just wanted to get it out of the way. It was something I could easily do because the night time had come by. With that said, I wish to make another bibliograph thing. The bookcase. Pretty simple, just take these, right click on the bookcase with them, place them in there, 
and I can't rest because there's monsters nearby. Huh. I guess we're kind of stuck in here at the moment. So. Red stu- Oh, right. I know what we can do. Give me a quarter of a stack of lead, please. Down in the basement, I threw half a stack of obsidian in here. So I'm going to throw that in here and start getting some... Uh, right, it's putting back in here. Hardened glass created. Four. This should be all I need at the moment. I am going to need electrum. That's not electrum. Four electrum and a diamond. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Done. So, I believe this requires a thousand. And I believe these are a hundred apiece? That doesn't sound right. Uh, requires four thousand. And that is required from... A hundred apiece. Okay. So, if I were to make four blocks, so now I would need four redstone, and I'll get those cooking in the magma crucible, which I already have set up to output to here, and then I want to make a nice. Uh, another little contraption. Grab those. Grab one of those. Grab four of those. This is added by the defense mod. Pretty sure this is what I need. Uh, it is a deflector. Oh, I need to make some of those and one of those. Three. Uh, I believe I can make it with iron. Yes. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Three. Three. Done. Go. Awesome. Now... Oh, I bet my pick's charged by now, honestly. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. These are quite effective little things here. Let's place this here, and we'll put this shield here in my face. It's going to make obnoxious noises while I remove those. Now, though, that'll do is whenever a mob tries to pass through it, it'll pretty much just one-shot it. Like, straight off. I'm sure my redstone blocks are cooked by now. Uh, yes they are. And done. Throw this in here. Now, once I make this, I need three electrum, two red, and a conductance coil, which also requires... Uh, electrum. One, two, three, four... Two. Boom, 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 doo doo. So I got four of these deflectors. Normally, I like to. When I was playing with it before, I decided to double it up because sometimes they just refuse to die, for a lack of a better way of putting it. But, uh. Well, I suppose we could use some iron. Pretty sure. No? Chain sheets. Chain link fence. Anyhow, as I said, you can see that the daylight is eating away at it. It's still spawning monsters because there's still some here, but 
they're eventually all going to go away in the end. Uh, this water source has been a pain in my side because it's constantly in the way in some form or another. However, I have to keep it here because I need to grow sugar cane. Ow! That was rude. Rude zombie is rude. Okay. Oh, nope. There. The, this will also provide me a spider shield. Right, I forgot it goes three high. There. Double buffer. Is it the prettiest double buffer? No. But I don't feel like moving my farms around at the moment. A uh, chain link fence, I suppose it may not be terribly useful. It allows you to climb up it, but I don't know if mobs will. Oh, hey, that gives me a fairly simple way up here. Interesting. Ah, uh, all that stupid stuff is almost gone, and we're almost halfway through the day. There's two blocks left. Be happy when that's gone. Okay. What's that doing? All right, redstone energy cell. However, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna make things, I might as well go all the way at this point. I have all the resources. Whoops. With that said, I'll melt down these. Throw my bucket in there. I need to break down some tin. Uh, two, three. I'm only going to have enough to make one set of these at the moment, but it's something, at least. Bam! Bucket. I'm on pulverized tin. Okay. Now, if we go over here, put that in there, that in there, that in there. Get Enderium Blend. Although I just realized I'm missing a step. Which means I'm going to need a piece of coal, a piece of blaze powder, uh, pyrothium, actually it's shapeless I believe, and a piece of redstone. Although I need one of those for each one of these, and I believe breaking down coal also has a chance to get me sulfur. which is occasionally used. So, bam, 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 pyrothium, duction smelter, and that'll get us what we need. I figure if I'm going to upgrade these, well, upgrade this, technically, I might as well go the whole way. Because, why not? Is it done? Yes, it is done. So, if I put those there, put that there, get this, which holds 50 million redstone flux. Which is a bit overkill. Okay, so I need to, that is the front. I want to set you as an input. And I wish to set the top as an input. Wait, that's output, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Output. Yes? Yes. And down as an output. I'm just going to drop all of his energy into this guy. Now, I, I made the... I put another harvester on the tree farm. I was having issues with it not harvesting fast enough. Uh, actually, before I continue this train of thought, I'm gonna do something about that noise. Hopefully this works. 
Uh, I've only had moderate success in the past with resolving this particular issue using this method. This, I believe, is from Extra Utilities. Yes, it is. Now, I should be able to... Oh. If I put this here... Not there, and not there. Well, it doesn't silence it. But it does enough. I don't need it to silence it, I just need to make it not be obnoxious. Uh, I think... I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna limit its height. By doing that. There we go. So, that prevents the need for a door, because it'll kill any monsters that try and come strolling in my front door. I suppose. Conduits. Our last tier of conduit requires two redstone per conduit. Each condor requires two electrum. So, I will make 40. Oh, hey, that also silences my elevator. Stop that. The, uh, the elevator noise, while cool, gets old. Well, it doesn't silence it, but, you know. Makes it quiet. I decided that having some raw plastic was a good idea. And those zombies are all underground. And it's kind of annoying. What are you going to do? I should probably do something about those. Uh, I ended up not using the Manalium. Oh, stop that. What I should do... Make a sword. Yeah. We should make a sword. A uh, tool rod. Actually, which kind of sword do we want? Or do we even want a sword? We can make a scythe. I like the idea of a scythe. Uh, that is not the right book. Of course, I went the whole way through it before considering that. So, we can make a broadsword. Or a longsword, which has a lunge. That's not too interesting. A rapier, which has armor piercing. But applying quartz to increase its damage is reduced. And then the dagger, which... Eh, it's not particularly useful. Frying pan, battle sign. But the uh, the scythe, well known for its large swinging area, can be used to harvest crops, leaves, and it is a decent weapon. But that, that's expensive. I think we'll go with a broadsword. It requires a sword blade, a tool rod, and a wide guard. So, oh, that is a wide guard. And that is a sword blade. Oh, wrong machine. Take that piece of paper out. Put you there and you there. This here, white guard. Okay. Uh, put that in there. Now, when it comes down to the actual thing, I'm not sure what I should do. I probably should just use more Manalium, to be honest. Uh, first things first, I'm going to need two aluminum brass. Yes. Also, I haven't been timing this because... Well, partly because I'm stupid, but that's beside the point. Uh, actually... Hmm, how am I going to go about this? I'm pretty sure that if I put the aluminum brass in, 
It will be the first thing to come out if I throw in something like this. Because you can see the Manalium won't come out. Manalium? Men... Menulian. Menulian. Wow, that is an awkward word to say. So. I don't need to be carrying around a door. Is it melted yet? Yes. Oh, that's a problem. I guess I need to go get the uh, ingot cast to get the manolium out of there. Manulian. Man, that is a weird word. Right, that should be all of that. Good. Now, if I put the sword blade there, get cast. Yeah, put the wide guard there. Get a cast. Put these back in. Things I don't need anymore. This, this. Uh, sword blade. I don't need the ingot. I'm going to need these. I don't have the quartz to make a proper s full on thing at the moment. You know. Technically. I should make the wide guard. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Should make the wide guard out of paper. Yeah. So the, I'll just put that back in there at the moment. The wide guard being out of paper should give me another modifier. Because, well, modifiers are cool. Okay, there's a lot of zombies down there in that cave. I don't care to do anything about it. Melt already! Melt! Melt! I wish to acquire sword blade! Okay. Give me a tool rod. And because I'm not going to be able to do anything about it, because there's going to be half an ingot in there if I don't do that... I mean, I could train it into a tank, but what's the real point in that? I don't see one. So, now that we've got our parts... No, I wish to make a broadsword. Manolium, manolium, and broadsword. So, it it's a pretty good, uh... It's got pretty good damage in its own right. It's got an attack of four hearts, which is plus eight, whereas this is plus six. It'll gain more if I add stuff onto it, but I think, for the moment, I'm just going to add moss. I should have more... Or four, not more. Four available modifiers. So if I don't put that in there. Now it'll have auto repair. I'll probably use up the Invar sword, because why not? I also want to take a... Oh, too many diamonds. There's supposed to be torches in that spot. Okay. I figure, why not? Give it another available modifier. I'm sure whatever I was doing down below was probably done. Probably. Okay. I figure, why not make it faster? Can't make it too fast, right? So now it has a mining speed of 23. Oh god. Like a hot knife through butter. But I could just... Oh. I thought maybe I could just tear out the whole floor in seconds, but nope. Doesn't work like that. Okay, so I think that's going to be pretty much all of it. Uh, this, these are going to be cooking through charcoal, like, no tomorrow. But that's what that's for. This is now empty. Take this. And I'll place it in a chest. I'll, I can use it for future things later on, but as it currently stands, you can't upgrade that any further. 
So, I think that's pretty good progress for now. I want to actually get more machines made soon. But, that's been a bit of a hindrance. Got my nice protective doorway. Nothing sure to get in there. Maybe I should put a roof on it. And then I can still climb up it. And I can stand on it jump up here. Yay! Uh, but yeah, I built another harvester and I set up a way to turn them off. And if you look, this is mode round robin. It's the yellow one is. I set that up like that because... I was having issues where I was actually getting an overload of logs and the whole thing flipped out, so I want to be able to just turn it off. Just shut it down. Shut it all down. But, as I started to say, I think I'm going to call this good for now. So, uh, see you guys next time. Have a good day.